Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 720. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College of Set link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 715 to 721. In this video here, we have some names and birthdays, and we need to somehow quickly see all of the birthdays which were earlier than six months ago, but greater than five, greater than or equal to five years. So in essence, we want to see all the birth dates somehow, whether using filter or formula or conditional formatting, between six months and five years old. That means birthdays, that's how old they'll be. Now we're going to see this a couple different ways. Filter, uh, formula, and advanced filter. First, I just want to put a formula up here to tell me what the date is for six months ago and the date for five years ago. So I'm going to use the today function. Today is an argumentless function. It'll simply tell you what today is. So every day that you open this, it'll show you today's date. Now we're going to use the edate. And if you don't have the edate function, you can uh, in 2007 and 2010, it's automatically there. In earlier versions, you have to go to uh, add-ins, tools, add-ins, and add the data analysis tool pack. Just check that. EDATE is great. We can say here's the start date, and notice that's dynamic. That's today function. So we say that, and then we say how many months in the future or the past. Comma, well, if we want six months ago, minus six. And I'm going to lock this, F4 going to the side. And then I'm going to copy this over one. Notice it's still looking there. I'm going to say minus 60, because that's five years. So those are the two dates. Anything that falls between these two dates we're interested in. Let's look at filter first. And what's nice about this is you could simply have this. And every time you open this, you just see the two dates. I'm going to click in one cell, and actually I'm going to highlight here because that extra column we haven't added yet. I want to highlight this, and I want to go to Filter, uh, Data Filter. In earlier version, it's Data Filter Auto Filter. And now I simply want to go here, and in 2007 and 10, whoops, I want to go to the uh, this drop down here and say Date Filters. In earlier versions, you click Custom, and then you say um, the same dialog box will pop up. All right, let's see if I can move this. Okay, so we want to see is after or equal to. So since dates are serial numbers, we want it after this, because this is the older date. So we want to type in here 9 slash 8 slash 2005 is, e is after or equal to, and then here is before or equal to. Well, this is the more recent date, right? Here's to. So we want is before or equal to 3 8 2010. And just like that, we get all of the birth dates between these two dates right here. So filter with this, pretty nice, because then every time you just have to uh, do the filter. Now if you want it a little bit more automatic, we can do it uh, two other ways. I'm going to click here and then say clear filters. We could do it with formulas instead. And by the way, if you don't have edate and you, you don't add the data analysis, if you download this, I have some formulas. Uh, that don't require, including the one we're about to do. That the, for the older version, it gets uh, big. OK, we have two conditions we need to check here if we want a column that says true or false. And we're going to build this formula smartly, because then we'll use it for conditional formatting to automatically uh, highlight dates between these two dates. I'm going to use the AND function, because we have two things we need to check logical test, is this greater than or equal to this, and less than or equal to this. So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to hit the F4 key and lock the column reference, because when we use this formula up in conditional formatting, we want it to highlight the whole record. So I'm going to say whenever that date right there is greater than or equal to this, and I'm going to lock that in all directions with an F4. 
Um, now, what if we didn't want to do that? What was that formula there? Well, let's just do E date. That way it's independent. We don't have to have this up here. So we're going to say E date, open parentheses. And what do we have there today? So I'm going to put today, E date, and then minus 60. Now, that's the first logical test, but it's between. So now we have to say <coughs> comma, and notice our logical test 2 comes up, and then we control V. E date today minus 6. Okay, so the log, um, but this one's going to be less than or equal to. This is greater than or equal to the earlier date, minus 60, and then less than or equal to the uh, six months ago date, which is minus 6. Close parentheses, control enter. When I double click uh, and send it down, we can see we get our trues. Now, everything here, we got our B5s, so we can use this as a conditional formatting formula, which will highlight just the row where there's a true. So I'm going to double click and scoop this out, Control C, Escape, and then I'm going to highlight all the way down. Now when you're doing conditional formatting formulas, you want to build it from the point of view of that active cell, which is what we did here. So I'm going to uh, Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, or the keyboard shortcut, Alt-O-D, Alt-O-D, New Rule. Use formula. In earlier versions, you just click that first text box, is formula, and then control V. Wow, it's been so long since I've used that text box, I'm surprised to even remember. Uh, format, and then we're going to format it some color like uh, yellow. Click OK, click OK, and so now we have our dates. And all the dates are the exact same ones as we did when we did our filter, except for now we can see all the records in just the ones that are yellow or the ones we interested interest in or we have our true here also all right we'll see you next trick